Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. If this is your first time checking out one of our videos uh, on the channel, then please do subscribe, uh, hit that bell notification button, uh, as you'll then be notified of all of our future videos as they come out. In each video, we try and pick a topic or a particular function and really dive in with examples to help you understand what it's doing and where it can bring value to your work. And also, if you do enjoy this video, this goes for everyone else, if you did enjoy this video, please do hit a, hit that like button. Uh, it's obviously greatly appreciated by us because it not only helps with that YouTube algorithm, it also helps show me the content you'd like to see more of. In today's video, we're going to be looking at how to get rid of any unwanted spaces. And firstly, I start with an apology that please do try to ignore the awful formatting and very basic layout of this, um, this file we've got here. But we're going to be jumping around uh, with some of the information on this sheet uh, but it's the real core point we're going to be looking at in columns A to C with the data that is uh, I really don't want to extract the attention from. So in this scenario, we've got two sets of data, both look exactly the same. We've got column J, or columns J to K, and we've also got columns M to N. And you can see we've got an ID and some sales data, and our ID is a location ID. And we want to return the location name uh, from our search table in column F and G. So we'll jump straight in. We're going to copy this first bit of data. And we'll, oh, I pushed the wrong button there, ignore that. Copy this. And we're going to paste it over into our desired columns of A to C. And this is just trying to replicate a scenario where you're copying data either from a website or maybe another Microsoft application like Word or even Outlook. So you can see we've copied our data across there and we can see the total sales. To pull in our location name, all we're going to do is do a VLOOKUP. And if you're not familiar with how to do the VLOOKUP function, do check out the other videos we have available on the channel as there are many uh, going in more depth into the VLOOKUP function to show you how to use it, as we won't be going into too much depth in this video. So once I've entered my VLOOKUP, you can see that I now have a location, what makes uh, gives our data a bit more meaning and sense. So we can now see that uh, Tokyo had the higher sales and that New York had the lower sales to give two very obvious and sort of not meaningful uh, pieces of information there. So with our second piece of data, now this is uh, been uh, rigged to give us um, maybe as an example of where data is maybe not formatted correctly from a potentially bad source and it's not necessarily going to be a bad source it's just that formatting can change when you're moving across applications so we're going to copy this data here so we'll just copy exactly in the same way we did and paste it underneath the uh, previous data and all we now need to do is just copy this formula down so we can see the locations but we can see there's a problem and it's the VLOOKUP is giving us an error. And the error for that, without having to sort of dive in and do too much digging, is because we already know, is there is a space at the end of the ID. So when we're looking for the ID of A1010, what's the first one here for New York? Obviously this value doesn't contain, or the actual ID in the search table doesn't contain a space. Therefore, that's what's causing the problem. And you can just see if I manually remove that space from here and hit enter, then the VLOOKUP can now perform and return its actual location. But we'll just pop that space back in there. So we need to make an update to our existing VLOOKUP formula to deal with uh, this space. All we need to do is uh, go at the front here and I'm just going to enter the function of trim and do that around here as well. So you can see what now the brackets around either side of that value and hit enter. And it's now worked and given us, us that desired value. What trim does, and again, uh, like the example with VLOOKUP, there are other videos on our channel. If you want to look at more into um, the trim function, how it works, you can check them out there. But in a, in a nutshell, trim works by looking at your value. So for us, it's this one here, A1010. And it says, okay, if there's any spaces at the beginning of the, um, of the string or at the end of it, all I'm going to do is just remove them. And that's exactly what it does. So it literally gets rid of any spaces uh, either side of the value. Obviously, if there's a space in the middle, it wouldn't remove it. But any spaces either side, it will remove those spaces and then give us the, the, um, the number as desired. And you can see that works for New York. And if I just to drag it above... Uh, into our existing ones. Obviously it impacts them, or it doesn't impact them at all because there's no spaces for it to need to extract. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's not some, one of those formulas where if a space isn't present, it will cause an error. It will literally only um, activate, shall we say, if those spaces are there. 
So I can just now copy this down and that should, oh no, it hasn't sorted two of those examples out. So we can now look to see, well, why are they not, not working? So I'll jump into this one in row 11, go up into the formula bar here, and I can see that there is a space there, but obviously trim is not working with this particular type of space. So if you didn't know, there are potentially, should we say, two different types of spaces. Um, there's a normal space, so like the one we we're able to resolve there by using the trim function, and there's also another space uh, called a non-breaking space. So for us, as just looking at them, it looks no different. We can It just looks like a space, but Excel obviously recognizes these two different spaces as different references, and therefore we need to feed into our formula uh, a solution for Excel to uh, what to do when one of those particular spaces comes up. So what I'll quickly do is add a box over here, and then what you can see is I will replicate by using the formula um, at this particular, these two different types of uh, spaces. So all I need to do is do equal char and open brackets, and the first time, or well, the first one is going to be number 32. So character 32, and hit enter. And character third or character with number 32. So this is our normal space. So Excel will recognize a normal space with this reference of 32. And I can just copy that down to save me writing the formula again, very lazy. And for the second one, I'm going to enter the number 160. So this second one, Excel recognizes as a non breaking space with the reference of 160. So if I was to then just copy these. And let's do copy and we'll do paste values just to get rid of those references. You can now see if I just put this border back on, if I go into each one, so this first one, you can clearly see there is a space there. Perfect, so escape out of that. And the second one, again, you'll see there is another space there. So again, they both look exactly identical to us, but when I use a final formula here of code, um, so the first one I put in there of char allows me to uh, create that scenario and obviously using code allows me to now reference what appears like a blank cell um, to understand what the code reference is. So obviously you see that first one is 32 and that second one is 160. So we now know that a, a normal space is going to be number 32 and a non-breaking space is going to be code reference 160. So Trim will help us deal with number 32, but we need another update to our formula to help us deal with the code of 160 when we encounter the non-breaking spaces. So what we can do is we'll go back over to our formula here, and the first thing I want to do is, for the time being is just remove uh, this trim function and that reference. So let's just delete that out. And I'm now going to use the formula or function of substitute. So just type in substitute. And what this does is it basically, you input what value you want uh, the formula to look for, and then you then provide the value you want it to substitute that found value for. So we first need to say, take in our ID, so the text being obviously a reference to where our, our text is. We'll then go comma and say, okay, what is the old text we want to find and be substituted? So we're gonna put char160, because we know that is a non-breaking space is code. So wherever character or that 160 code is referenced, all we want to do is, uh, we don't want to put any new text, so we can just, we want it just to be blank. So all I'm gonna do is having entered the comma, just put no more there and just close my brackets and hit enter. So what you can see will happen is as I now pull this formula down, all those values, uh, the first four, uh, obviously no spaces are present, so it's not gonna do anything. But for those two where we had, so Mumbai and Paris, the two values have now been pulled through, where one of those non-breaking spaces was appearing, it's now gonna find that space, replace it, or basically remove it, replace it with nothing, and therefore our formula will now work. So obviously, as a result of doing that substitute and removing trim, it's caused errors to these ones with the normal spaces. So lastly, we can just round this off by now just entering the trim function around our just entered substitute function, like so. So what will happen now is 
our substitute function will work. It will say, okay, for um, our ID, is there any uh, non-breaking spaces? If so, we replace them with nothing. And then as a secondary measure, it will then say, okay, having done that substitute function, is there any more spaces, i.e. normal spaces, around our, our new um, ID? Uh, if there is, remove them, else obviously there's nothing to be done. And then that will then give us our perfect value ready to be searched or looked up in that search table. Hit enter, we can see we've got New York there, so we know there was no problems with that one at all. Copy that all the way down by a double click, and you can now see that we have a, sol a solution to deal with both the normal and the non-breaking spaces. So we hope that was obviously insightful and gave you a really good uh, formula to use with your data. I appreciate the data we looked at today is, is there's not very much of it, so you might just want to go and just manually remove those spaces. But as you can appreciate, if you have a lot more data where you need to apply this to be looked up to, or if you're doing this on maybe a recurring basis, whether it's daily or weekly, uh, you don't maybe want to rely on a manual process because that could either give you um, an error because if you forget to do it, and alternatively, if you're doing it on a regular basis, that soon adds up a lot of time that you spend doing this manually. So this is the formula that I would suggest you can use. And this obviously doesn't have to just be used with VLOOKUP. You could use it with any other function um, where you're trying to do a search in this scenario and that will give you a solution to use. So we hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, as mentioned at the beginning, please do give the video a like. Uh, obviously it helps that YouTube algorithm, or most importantly, and helps other people find this content. And it also gives great insight uh, to myself to know what content you're enjoying and what you'd maybe like to see more of. If you haven't already, uh, again, do subscribe to the channel, uh, hit that bell notification button. Uh, we bring out one video a week, uh, with lots of more content to come out. So obviously by doing that, you'll be notified when more content comes out onto the channel. So lastly, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Before you go, don't forget to check out the other videos on our channel. You'll see everything from other functions and formulas through to tips and tricks. We've also created some playlists so you can see these categorized together. So make sure you check those out and get all those useful information. And obviously, as always, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification button.